for dinner? That is probably the most popular question in any household starting as soon as breakfast ends. And um, it's something that probably causes a lot of stress and anxiety for the person who is preparing dinner. So today we're gonna talk about making a plan for our meals for the week. Uh, normally when I um, set up my, my camera, so you can see the other view, I block off my menu. I left it up there today, but I also brought another one. Um, ever since the pandemic began, I've been making a weekly menu. And what's great about it is it allows you to think ahead and be thinking about what you're making for the next meal so that not only when someone asks you what's for dinner, is there an answer or you can direct them to the fridge to look, but um, it allows you to shop. It allows you to, um, to, to actually prepare and plan ahead. It, you can have input from your family. So you can all plan together and people can say, hey, we haven't had this in a while or what if we have this sometime in the next couple of weeks? And you also can plan for nights that you know might be busier, that you might need a little extra help in getting a quick meal on. So you might be able on Tuesday night to do the food prepping for Wednesday night so that you know when you get home at seven o'clock, you just have to pop something in the oven and turn it on. So that's really great. Um, and the only tips I have um, in addition to that are just be flexible. So I sit down every Saturday, that's when I make my menu. And because Saturday mornings I have more time, so I sit down and I figure out what we're gonna have that night and then I kind of plan for the rest of the week. Um, I even put a little note on there saying the menu is subject to change due to my whims and product availability. So sometimes you get to the store and they're out of things, or maybe you somebody gives you um, some chicken that they had extra of, or some extra veggies. So just try to be flexible with that. Um, I like to plan veggies for every meal. That's important because it's a lot easier to eat healthy when we're planning for it, right? So if you plan some sort of vegetable dish and try to, to work from my plate and get something from every food group at every meal, then um, it's a lot easier to, to eat healthy. And uh, plan some extra for lunches. Uh, that way when you're making um, a, some sort of meal, you know that the next day you can already have packed and ready to go lunches or something to heat up the next day for lunch. Um, to, the one thing I'm gonna show you now is what to do when you get home and you're in a, you know, it's late, homework has to be done, bedtimes, and nobody's eaten yet, and the menu is not going to work tonight. Um, what I do is I make something that I just call a sheet pan dinner. So um, basically it's vegetables and uh, some sort of main course thrown on a pan. There are, I can't even think of any vegetables off the top of my head that don't benefit from being roasted in the oven. So I, I put some chicken here, I've got some sweet potatoes, um, you can leave the you can leave the skin on. I wash them well, but you can just toss them in there. You know, um, I threw in some broccoli. I'm going to throw in an onion. And we all love cutting onion, don't we? So I'm not going to chop it up small because this is just going to roast in the oven. So I'm just kind of throwing giant chunks, even if people don't eat these giant chunks or all of them, or maybe little kids might not eat them you're still going to get a lot of flavor from throwing this on the pan. And then um, you could sprinkle with a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt or your favorite seasoning, if you have a favorite seasoning. I happen to have some fresh sage that's out from my garden outside and sage is one of those flavors that makes me think of fall. And I'm not even doing anything special with this, just kind of sprinkling it on and then um, you could use a little bit of cooking spray or I've got this uh, brush with just a little bit of oil and I'm just brushing it kind of over all the veggies and all the chicken breasts here so that they don't stick to the pan and they get a little bit of caramelization in the oven. And then this is just going to go in the oven at 375, probably for about half an hour, maybe 25 minutes. And you've got a nice hot dinner all in one pan and the cleanup is a snack. 